Davey, a win in the end and through to the next round of the Challenge Cup. How do you reflect on that one? Um, difficult first half. Knew it was going to be a hard game of footballs. Ross Counties came here and really, well, uh, got out of the League Cup. We, they beat us with a kind of sucker punch at home. So I knew it would be a hard game of football. First half probably went the way I thought the game was going to be, go. Albeit, I think we've got to do better in the first 10 minutes. I think we've got enough entries, good entries, to get go a goal up. We don't. They get a wee bit of heart for that in the first game. We probably dominate possession, but they're quite, they're half decent on the counter. Had a couple of half chances, a couple of free kicks for dangerous areas. That was the first half. Not a lot in it, to be fair. Second half, managed to get them in at half time and speak to them a wee bit more. And um, I think half, second half, we deserve to win the game. Um, thought the boys applied themselves very well. Game became a wee bit transitional at 2-0 in terms of back to front. They were trying to get a goal, trying to get back in the game. Game became a wee bit transitional there, but I felt we deserved, deserved, deserved to go through. Good two goals and a clean sheet. It is almost a game of two halves, I think, for us throughout this season. Is it in, in terms of how we start games and then seem to turn up and kind of turn up it up a notch in the I second half? I think it's more about the opposition, if I'm honest. Um, Kind of knew this was going to go that way, so I think it's more to do with the opposition. Maybe the Rafe game slightly different, but I think the opposition, because they're looking at his building the game, they're kind of sitting in a mid to low block, which makes the game extremely difficult. We've done it ourselves over the years, so it's something I'm very familiar with, but I'm on the flip side of it now. So, kind of thought that, spoke to the boys at half time, that's how we kind of felt the game was going to go. Tweaked it slightly. And I thought once we tweaked it, second half, it was only really one one. I think we got in behind them on numerous occasions. Um, and I good two goals. Stevie May gets his goal. Decent. Chris should probably score, but then gets the assist. Stevie takes his goal between the sticks where he should be. That's why we brought me a club. And then I was really pleased for wee Andy and Smithy because Andy comes on, his first two touches, he's great link up, looks after the ball, secures the ball, slides Smithy. Smithy's a great run. I mean, you get Smithy in the offensive areas, I think he's one of the best finishers at the club. He's got great composure, the kid. So I was, I, nah, I was, as soon as I seen it with Smithy, I was fairly, fairly sure he was going to score. So really delighted for the two goal scorers, but Andy as well. Andy sat patiently, his game time's been limited, still young, but I'm um, really happy for them. You spoke about him there, but it was a bit of change in terms of starting 11 today. 90 minutes for the likes of Reese McAleer and Lewis Smith, as you touched upon there. How important is it to get minutes into these guys' legs ahead of the upcoming league campaign? I might have made a few more changes, but I think it's important you don't change too much. You're still a, it's a fairly new squad. Um, so, I, you, you've got two centre-backs at 34, 35, they could have been a change. But I think it's important the spine of the team, so you've probably seen me change the wide areas. It's a wee bit easier by changing the wide players. Um, full-backs and wingers, you're keeping that spine of the team together. So I, th I think, think that helped us throughout the game. But people like Reese really unlucky not to be starting games, but the boys are unbeaten. So it's, it's difficult to change that starting 11. So the boys have been unbeaten. Reese has been a wee bit unlucky, Smithy has been a wee bit unlucky, Liam Soul has been a bit unlucky. But I spoke about it throughout the start of the season and we're not going to, we're not going to get promotion and win games of football with 11 players. I feel we've got a really, really strong squad. I think most teams have got a good 13, 14 players, but I feel we've got a really strong like, group nucleus of 22, including the two goals. We've got a really good nucleus there. Um, so I think we've, it's about trying to utilise that as much as possible, but there's got to be a way in the team, there's got to be a way out of the team. Into round four of this competition, um, in terms of building momentum for the league campaign, probably in seasons past, maybe teams aiming for promotion, maybe discarded this competition, is it, is it important you, for you to kind of get that win and feel and go in the matter of competition? You're on a week-to-week -week basis, so you're just treating this like any other working week to be fair. Maybe if you were looking at a Tuesday night and you had a game of Saturday, you played a Saturday, you'd maybe look at a few more changes, but in a week to week I'm I'm fairly comfortable trying to put my best team on the park. But I, again I spoke about having a competitive squad, so the changes you made today I don't think it weakened us. It gave them game time. So it's never really in my head to make that many changes just for the sake of making changes. I think there's got to be a way in the team, there's got to be a way out of the team. But the boys that come in the day, come in and done themselves, no harm at all. It's a good 90 minutes for some of them. We've got deserved football on the Tuesday, so 
just about keeping the boys in a good place. And just lastly, it's back to league duty next week. Welcome Hamilton to the home of the set fair arena. What's your initial thoughts heading to that um, one? I think you could probably put me in repeat if I'm honest. I'm going to say the same things all season. Hamilton, good start. Decent team, recruited really well, got a lot of time for Hamilton. I think what they do for the local community is absolutely phenomenal. Um, they've made some good signings, John's got them promoted, so it's going to be a difficult game. But I think you ask me any team in this league and my, my narrative's going to be the same. It's I think every week you'd be a liar if you could look at this league and know who's going to win. I don't think there's any standout for relegation. I don't think there's any standout for promotion. just think it's a really competitive league this year. So it's a game of football. We need to go and try and win, but we've got no divine right to just turn up and win that game. Excellent stuff. Thanks, Dave. Cheers.